Okay, before the video starts, I just want to say go down below and hit the subscribe button because not all of you are subscribed for this video or just for my channel in general. And without a further ado, let's start the video. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back to my channel. I'm in a really good mood right now because I got some new stuff to show you guys. Not all of it's anime and manga, so bear with me if you're here for that specifically. But I had the I had the day off the other day, so I thought I'd show you what I got that day. Plus one thing I got yesterday, which is actually anime and manga related. But I guess without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so it's not exact- the first piece of this is not exactly anime related or manga related, but I thought I'd still add it to my collection or- Well, I did because I bought it, but I thought I'd show you in the video is what I'm trying to say. So, what you're about to see is, well, this right here. I got the Justice League Unlimited, um, Saving the World. It's like a DC DC's collection of, like, some of the good episodes. I'm a huge DC and Marvel fan. So I thought I'd pick these up, but I thought I'd show you in the video. I'm also a huge Teen Titans fan. I picked up some Teen Titans. I'll probably put better picture, or like some pictures up, or some better footage so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here and show you. Um, but the last piece I got that was DC related is this bad boy right here. And I gotta, gotta get back a little bit, but it's a, it, they took a comic um, cover from when, in the early days of Justice League and the comics and whatnot. And they put it in a poster, or like a um, wooden poster. And I had to get this. I just I thought it was so cool. So I've been hanging it up on my wall up there. Uh, you can't see where I'm pointing, but it's up on the corner right up there. And I thought it'd be cool. I'll put it, pull it in closer so you guys can kind of see it there. But yeah, that's my uh, DC collection. Now I guess let's move on to the to the anime and manga and all that. So let's let's move on to that now. Okay, so I turned the lights on so you can see better. I should have done that in the last clip. Sorry about that. So, moving on to my anime and manga. First, let me grab this, which you can't see where I'm, I'm grabbing because I got a little desk right here. Set my stuff on, the camera's right in front of me. So, the first thing I got, which is what I got yesterday when I was clocking out of work. I know some of what's on the shelves because I stock everything. I mean, like when you walk into the store and you're like, oh, this looks nice, everything's all close to the front of the shelves, you can see everything. I basically cleaned that. So I was putting something back on the shelf and it was this bad boy right here. Hopefully we can get some good lighting on it. Um, all Might figure, teacher outfit. Here's the box for it. Now the box wasn't in the greatest shape because it had been there for a while and you could tell some kids that got a hold of it and the box is kind of damaged, but it's, it's, I got it for a dollar. So you really can't complain for a dollar, especially when it's all my... So I got that to add to my collection. Now, for anime and manga, I... It's not the biggest selection of what I've added, but it is definitely something. So I'm gonna move it in front of me here. Now, the first one, I couldn't pass up. Because I watch a podcast, and they were just talking about, um... How they... That one of them had started reading this manga that I'm gonna show you. And it happened to be volume one sitting... Because I got all this stuff at Goodwill, by the way. So it happened to be sitting there on the shelf with the rest of the manga I'm going to be showing you. But that is Gantz. Now, what Gantz is, I'll read the back to you real quick. It says, A former schoolmate, Kai and Masuri, are struck, by, are struck dead by a fleeting subway train, but a split second later, they're alive. Trapped in a room with similar reanimated strangers, an ominous black sphere that soon flashes a dire message. All of your old lives are gone. I will decide how to use it your new lives. This mysterious orb supplies the, the group with high-tech weapons and a place and places them into a strange televised game hunt and to a to hunt a bizarre alien. Sorry, I was having trouble reading that. But the team soon discovers that the game is deadly serious and they can still die. Um, and it's really popular. It says right here on the back, it says the author's name. I'm not going to try to say it because I'm bad with Japanese names. Um, Gantz is a manga that is most extreme, selling over 15 million copies 
um, in Japan and spawning a hit anime series, a live action feature film, and an army of fans. So I'm really excited to start reading this. Um, I'll probably um, tweet on Twitter or Instagram something on how I like it or, or if I like it so far. So go follow me there. I'll leave a link to them down below. Um, but yes, um, also, I got the first, um, I guess, four ish volumes of Attack on Titans. Uh, they didn't have volume one when I was there. So I got volumes two through five right there. Um, put them close up so you can see. And I'm not going to necessarily read these because I'm all caught up in the anime. But I figured, hey, I'd read them. Now, they did have the first 15 volumes, but I don't have enough room and I didn't have enough money to get them. So I just got the first five. But, you know, something is better than nothing. Now, the next one, uh, you're either going to hate me for this or not hate me for this. I got volume two of One Piece. They didn't have volume one there. Um, I don't plan to ever read this because I'm not really a huge One Piece fan and you're probably thinking, so why did you get it? Because it's One Piece and it's volume 2, which is still pretty rare to see, at least for One Piece because there's so many chapters that it, there's so many manga volumes, so to find an older volume of it was rare for me anyways because I don't have the greatest luck finding 13 certain things. And I figured it's better to at least have a One Piece manga in my collection to at least say I have it, so I got that. Now, let's move on to the anime I got. Okay, so the final thing I got, which is a new anime, well, not new specifically, but for me, me personally, it's new. I haven't actually watched it, which is probably the reason why I got it, so I'd be inclined to watch it. Um, I'm planning to add this into a video, another video where I go over all my anime selection and games and whatnot. So you also can see that there. The new one I bought is Volume 1 of Ruby. Can we, can we get to focus there? Volume 1 of Ruby. And I don't know why I'm showing you the like, inside, but there it is. Um, I wanted to get this mainly because I've heard of Ruby before, and I've seen trailers whenever I was watch using Crunchyroll, or there was new a new season, they would always premiere on YouTube, like the trailers and whatnot. So, it's from the creators of Red vs. Blue, if anyone knows about that, for Halo and whatnot. So we've already got that going for us. Um, and it even has a comment on the front from Crunchyroll. It says, quick-witted, extending, love, or exciting, sorry. Lovely to look at from Crunchyroll. And I'll kind of see if we can get a close-up of it there. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. But there it is. Now, I plan to watch this as my voice cracks. Damn puberty. Um, but yeah, as my voice cracks. Anyways, it says, here's the, here's the description, okay? It says, Ruby focuses on a 15-year-old girl named Ruby Rose, who has just been accepted to Beacon Academy. This ancient school was founded, on, founded to train the monster slayers known as Huntsmen and Huntresses. However, Ruby will not be alone. Upon arriving at Beacon, she is promptly paired with, sorry if I say this wrong, Weiss Sheen. I'm not, I'm not sure it's Ray. Let me focus it right there. Right where my finger's at. Right, right there. Um... Way Shini, Blake Belladonna, and I might even pronounce that last that last one. I'll put it right there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. That name right there. I'm terrible at pronouncing names, and I don't want to sound like an idiot. If these four girls want to graduate, they'll have to learn to work together, both on the battlefield and in the classroom. So I'm really excited to watch this. I'm gonna finish wa watching the Ben 10 franchise because I'm rewatching Ben 10. Which funny note, I just learned the voice of Ben 10 is also the voice of Sasuke. So that's interesting. Um, but no, once I finish, um, sorry, my eyes were watering because I was, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little tired still. Um, but no, I'm planning to watch this after I finish Ben 10 because I actually haven't watched anime in a while. Surprise, surprise, a whole channel dedicated to anime and games, and I haven't even watched any recently. But no, I plan to get into Ruby. I've never seen it, so hopefully I'll like it, so let me know in the comments below if you've watched it. But that's going to be it for this video for my, my haul. Um, let me know if you like this kind of a video or if you guys want me to go back to the video game playing. Because I plan to still do that because next year there is a new My Hero Academia game coming out. Which I need to catch up on the manga. There's a lot of manga i got to catch up on. But I plan to play that on the channel. At least one video of it. So if you guys want to see me play more games, let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.